This is the first video of a new series of PS3 tutorials on what to do with CFW. Uh, I remade this video because the last time the audio was uh, kind of garbled, and this time I've redone it with a new uh, hardware setup, recording setup, and the audio is kind of funny at the beginning. Video number one games on PS3. Uh -oh. Games on a PS3. Uh, I'm going to go through it again from, uh, I guess, the beginning. Uh, so here I am deleting the uh, files necessary. So first disclaimer I'm going to make is you're going to need to be on custom firmware in your PS3. And um, if you're on official firmware and you want to get on custom firmware, you're going to need to probably get some downgrading hardware such as an E3 flasher uh, in order to um, get onto custom firmware. So, okay, so first thing we're going to need is download the files necessary. That's the PS2 Classics placeholder zip file and uh, also the React PSN. Uh, extract those and put it on the USB stick. So first thing you're going to need is the PKG files. So just put those two things on the root of the USB drive. That's formatted to FAT32 and go to Install Package Files. First one you can install is PS2 Classics placeholder. And again, if it doesn't show up there, it's because it's probably in a folder or that you haven't formatted your USB stick to FAT32. And then we can install the other one, React PSN. PS2 Classics placeholder also came with two folders, KLicense and EXData. Put those also on the root of the USB stick. And keep the USB stick into the port farthest to the right. That's the one closest to the uh, Blu-ray drive. Now what we're going to do is we're going to create a user named AA. And you just have to have that there. And we'll see that um, when we activate React PSN with the USB stick in, uh, it's going to change that username. So what's going to happen here is it's going to reboot the system. And we're going to hear a few beeps. And uh, basically what it's doing is it's installing the license file as if we have downloaded the PS2 Classic from uh, PSN. That's what React PSN is used for in this purpose. Also, you can see I'm on Regiro 4.55, the latest uh, for testing purposes. Also, uh, now you see that that user we've created AA has been changed to React PSN. This is indicating that uh, everything worked out fine. Okay, so now that we've set up our system, it's now backwards compatible, how do we go ahead and play our PS2 games? Well, you're going to need to get a copy of the PS2 game in an ISO format or copy it from the disk using Multiman. Uh, you could download this from anywhere online, for instance, uh, piratebay.se, kickass torrents, any other torrent website or websites such as ps3iso.com. So what we're going to do is you're going to download the uh, game or either copy it from the, from the disk here using Multiman and uh, put it in the USB stick or the inter hard, internal hard drive uh, in the folder PS2ISO, all caps. Now what's going to happen is you'll find it here in the retro column. And uh, you'll find it here without the square brackets in the PS2 Classics first. Now click on it once, and Multiman will do its thing to install it as a PS2 Classic. Now once that's ready, you just click on it, PS2 Classic, and it'll boot it just like it'll boot a PS3 game. It'll mount it like a virtual disk. And then from the XMB Home menu, we're going to launch it from the PS2 Classics placeholder icon we've just installed. So in response to user Hammy on YouTube, yes, Final Fight works. And here I've, I've tested Final Fight, so let's try it out. Uh, my system may conk out because of the recording software. So um, thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Uh, I'll be making a new series of uh, video tutorials on, on what to do and how to use custom firmware PS3s. Uh, please stay tuned. And also I'd like to make another disclaimer now that I've gone through all that, that there's a file size limitation on FAT32 uh, hard drives and USB sticks. Uh, the reason I bring this up is because some PS2 games are larger than 4 gigabytes in file size. I'll be creating another video addressing exactly this problem as well as other issues.